Let's brain the ass, and I'm gonna tell you about aliens. <laughs> Hey Brewers, it's Paul here, and today we're gonna take a look at the inline thermometer that I use on the Bruzilla setup. It's also gonna give us a nice accurate reading as we chill, Paul's little invention there, much like, much like. Uh, you guys have asked a bunch, like what is it? How do I build one? I'm gonna show you the parts that I use. There's many ways you can build something like this. Also, if you're in Canada and wanna order from us, we sell these pre-built on our website. But basically, the T is what's going to connect everything together. This is just stainless steel, half inch T, nothing too special there. And then I'm using cam lock fittings because that's what the Bruzilla has. You could use quick disconnect, you could use barbs, you could use whatever would work for your system as long as it's half inch and would, you know, screw into this thing. So we'll start off with, uh, on the Bruzilla, you're going to need a cam lock F and this is what would go into the Bruzilla uh, recirculation pipe. So I'll just put a little, little bit of plumber's tape on here and we'll screw that in, hopefully to the bottom. There we go. You'd probably want to use some tools or something to make sure this is really tight, but for demonstration purposes, this will do. And then we will take a cam lock B, one of these guys here. Same thing, put some uh, plumber's tape on there. I'm probably doing this horribly. Uh, please don't roast me in the comments. All right, that looks good enough. Same thing, put that on the top. And this is so the bottom would plug into the Bruzilla recirculation arm, the Bruzilla, whatever, uh, recirculation pipe, whatever you want to call it, that would go into there and then you have your recirculation arm during your mash would plug into here. At least on the Bruzilla, again, you could do quick disconnects, you could do barbs, you could do whatever would work with your system. Then we need a thermometer in there, obviously, and this won't work. It's not, not long enough, so we can fix that. We're gonna take a closed nipple, like one of these guys here, put some plumber's tape all over it. One eternity later, almost there. All right. Screw that in here. And I'll just mention, if I had gloves, I'd be wearing them. These can be really sharp and you'll cut yourself. It happened to Noah, unfortunately, <laughs> but he learned his lesson. He's good now, he wears gloves. So we've extended it a bit, then we're gonna take a coupler to extend it even more. And also so this can actually screw into it. There we go. And we'll have a sip of beer, because it's hard work. And again, some more plumber's tape on here. And now it should fit without the probe hitting the back of the T. All right, and it's relatively straight. If it's not, if for you to tighten it, your the uh, thermometer is all like cockeyed, just take it off, add some more plumber's tape, just adjust until it makes sense. And that's pretty much it. Put that in line with your Bruzilla, and then that way you can monitor the temp of your thermometer that you can calibrate with you know boiling water or freezing water make sure it's perfectly set to either zero or boiling you know that this is good and if you're not sure if your Bruzilla is displaying the correct mash temperature you can double check with one of these guys here and that's pretty much it again you can make this to fit pretty much any type of brewing system if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this cheers